All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl Rasmussen Memorial Cup. Oh, yeah, Robert Delpino's back. Unfortunately, that resets all your guys' default, so you're gonna have to go back in and look at your team. So the Denver Broncos, controlled by the Joneser, are going up against the Cleveland Browns in the rain. Browns elect to return. Yeah, yep, sure can. Nice kick by David Treadwell to start the game off. Eric Metcalf will take it from his three or four yard line. And the Browns were a pretty good team in the first game. Well, they're an okay team. But they are not. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kosar out of the gun. Let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, called play, and it ends up in a pass deflection. Fumble. I'll give you a fumble. But he avoided getting sacked, which was good for Kosar there. Out of the gun again. Oh, gives it to Tommy Vardell, who's taken down very quickly. That's good. That's that draw play that you should never be fooled by. Or at least not more than, like, twice. Oh, stars under... Pro oh! Oh, and he gets nabbed and taken down by John Sullins. It looks like a three and out for the, uh, for the Browns here. outside linebacker for that one. And a punt. We'll take it all the way back to the 20. Russell on the run here. Oh, Derek Russell goes down uh, after four yards. Now you can change out your players. Yeah, with the standard button there and just go to change. Yep. Well, you, you want to look to make sure that's still... Yeah, I guess so. Whatever. Yeah, John Elway is in bad condition, so he's uh, getting a rest here for this game. Was it Tillman? Okay. No, I don't. Sorry. Wait, no, your plays don't. Your playbook doesn't change back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could just exit out of there. Okay. Now the game begins. <laughs> sort of. <clears throat> There's been a few substitutions made. Fortunately, you got to see all of them. Uh, oh. Yep, the old draw play there. Which is, in my estimation, not a very good play. But he ended up getting four yards of out of it. But he's not going to get rid of his favorite. Oh, jeez Louise, really? Okay, well, he kept that wow, play, which is his favorite pass play. And, uh... Oh, pass there to Vance Johnson. And Johnson is going to the 35, and, uh... Yeah. Gets to the 33-yard line. Nice, uh... Pass from Maddox to uh, to Johnson there. Greg Maddox handoff up the gut to Rod Bernstein. Rod Bernstein definitely looked like he could have went further, but still, 16-yard gain there, marching down the field pretty well against the Browns here, uh, which I guess isn't that big of an achievement since the Browns are not all that great of a team. Well, pass to. Vance Johnson for the touchdown. Greg Maddox really doing a good job in his first start here. Or Tommy Maddox. Why do I call him Greg? Greg Maddox? I think he's a pitcher for the Braves. Maybe. But Tommy Maddox in any case. I thought they still had Gary Kubiak as a backup in this game, but I guess not. I think he's a coach now. I don't know. I don't watch football anymore. Eric Metcalf on the return again. And he's going to get to the 22 there on a 14-yard return. And let's see if the Broncos can keep up the good defense. I guess the Cleveland squad here. 
which is funny because if you think about it in continuity terms, and there's a nice sack that waited too long. Greg Cragen takes the credit for that one. But if you think about it, this current Browns team is actually the Baltimore Ravens in this game. They will become the Baltimore Ravens, and the Browns now are actually not tied by real lineage to the Cleveland Browns. No, this would, these, they would become the Baltimore Ravens in a few years. But then Cleveland would get an expansion team, which would be the Cleveland Browns. A what? No. No, I don't have any of that. What? The internet was out? Oh, I didn't. Oh, really? You guys pay for internet service? Oh. Man. Yeah, I was going to say, I, don't, I never thought of paying for some stuff. Okay. Fantastic. Second down to 19 after that big sack there. Round 52. Round 52. Osar drops back, but it's a call play, and he's going to eat some more turf. Some soggy turf. From Carl Macklinberger. I did add another ER, but I felt that that was appropriate given the situation. Metcalf was up the middle, and somebody waited a while to start pressing the, uh, the red button there. Yeah, that's okay. You guys never listen. <laughs> anyway, punt by Phil Hansen. A rather crappy punt. And it looks like the Broncos are going to start with pretty good field position there in about the 48. We've got about four minutes left to go in the court. Plenty of time for the uh, Broncos to score. Again, depending on how they run this thing. Bernstein up to center for six. Oof. Called play there. Loss of five. Sacked by Michael Dean Perry. Yep. Ugh, why? We're still in the second quarter. Oh, wow, that's a Polish uh, field goal. So anyway, Michael Dean Perry, of course, the brother of William the Refrigerator Perry, but not as famous. Well, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, Michael Dean Perry and William Perry are related, yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. And Michael Dean Perry played for the, uh, the Browns, and that's who he got sacked by. They said M.D. Perry because they didn't have enough letters, I guess. Oof, and speaking of sacks... Commentary? I'm always doing my homework before I do my commentary for the game. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. That was the problem. Oh, Tommy Vardell goes to, goes to town with five yards off that awful draw play. That I wouldn't have. But actually, <laughs> this guy put it in his playbook. Kosar! Back to pass. Oh, he's actually going to throw instead of just getting sacked again. Oh, interception. Steve Atwater, who I might add is a pro bowler. And, uh... Don't go for it, although I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well... Oh, there he is, M.D. Perry. Not only is he... That's that's freaking Greg... That's funny, you put in Tommy Maddox to replace Elway. Because he was in bad condition and you get Maddox injured. I, I, I think he'll be fine. You're playing against the Browns. Okay. They can. Uh, and might. That would have been funny had they. Oh, he actually threw it to an open guy way too soon. But still, at least you switched off the guy who was in quadruple coverage. So you are, are you reporting saying San Francisco was the 
Uh, no, no, because that was actually pretty much a snoozer of a game. You kidding me? You guys were terrible. Yeah, depressing game. I'm hoping the Oilers are gonna actually play a decent game. I can usually. That was way too damn long. That's a touch back and a half. I mean, you could punt like 80 yards in this game. But yeah, probably about 10, 15 more minutes. He wanted to go over all his players, which is is fine. Bernie Coast, oh, slips. Well, yeah, because you ran into your dude there. Oh, nice. Attempted pass to Michael Jackson, and yes, that is his name. And he's weird because he's number one, which is number one usually for a wide receiver here in the 80s. Hey, three, three, I don't know how they enforce that, if people just mostly have it, or if they're strongly suggested, or if some teams are outright. Like, you will be in the 80 numbers if you're a wide receiver. And how old MJ got away with that one, I don't know. Yep. Third down and 17. At the last 15 seconds of the second quarter here. Looks like this is all she wrote for scoring. But Bernie Kosar is able to pick up another get sacked. Yeah, that's it. They <laughs> said one more play. They're gonna punt it. They're trying to pad their punter stats. Ah, uh, no. Well, it is, but you won't. I don't think I've ever ran back a punt before. To be honest with you, I've ran off. I've ran back like a, a couple of kickoffs before. Maybe not in this game. Maybe in the other version. Well, at least the cheerleaders and their hair's holding up well. No, and the clown is not letting the rain bring him down. Just his balance. So, an exciting first half, and by that I mean it wasn't that exciting. 7-0 to zero in favor of your Denver Broncos. Gre uh, Tommy Maddox was brought in to give Elway a rest. He's currently maimed. So, yeah. Let's go for it. Both teams offensively not really putting out very much. Uh, with the Broncos putting out a little bit more, which is giving them this 7-0 to lead. Nope, start out at about the 30. Thereabouts. Oh, worst play ever. Anyway, eh, not too bad though, 6 yards. That's a pretty good game for a draw play. So Lewis uh, picks up six there. Why do you like this play so much? No. Yeah, that was that was actually not too bad. That's a that's a problem with throwing across the center though. You can still run it. Ugh. Oh, but Tillman gets it anyway. It's, Somebody lucks out. And that's a first down, his third of the game. Ready, set, put. That way hands it off. Bernstein. Up the middle for six. And it looks like the Broncos are driving at this point. Ready, three, two, oh, out of the gun Ready. again. Oh. Oh, you got it, though. Shannon Sharp, the brother of Sterling Sharp, with a nice catch there. Six yards between them and pay dirt. Oh, Elway's out of the gun. Yeah, I know you That's what should happen every time you do that play. That's what should happen. Second down and 12 to go. Bernstein up the gut, but... Stopped him cold. And he's 12 yards out on third and goal here. Have to see what kind of magic trickery. And it won't be any trickery there. At the 20 yard line, Jerry Ball makes the sack. And fourth down and 21. What'd you call timeout for? Okay. Oh, wait, you don't want to call, you don't want to kick a field goal? Why? You turn it into a two possession game. 
Well, maybe. You have interception. Probably should have just kicked the field goal. Now it's a single possession game, and the uh, Browns, of course, Browns haven't had a whole hell of a lot of offense going there. Uh, Oh, Metcalf. Oh, and he's able to turn the corner and pick up the first down. I'm pretty sure it's the first down. Yep, it's true. First down. Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, it's 20 yards out. That probably was not a good move. I'm going to stand here at the like, one yard line, but uh, you're at the opposite one yard line. Oh, six yard loss there. Oh, no, that's not the opposite one yard line. Forget it. Minute and three seconds left to go in the third quarter here. Still a 7-0 to zero game, single possession game. Kosar out of the gun. He's going to throw it, but it is incomplete to the screen. Third down and 15, and the Browns offense just hasn't been able to get anything going today. And they're not going to get anything going today. So they're just uh, they're gonna punt it. Which one? The outside linebacker. Which one? The outside linebacker. Uh, it's, uh... Dang it. Back on. Yeah, try to go around. Yeah. Get in there a lot easier with him. Cause yeah, the inside linebackers get blocked right away. And Russell gets tackled there at the thirty. We haven't seen any fumbles yet this game. You know, I just wanted to go ahead and throw that in there in case anybody was wondering what was going on. I'm wondering what's going on. That's when you don't want to fumble, too, in those pun returns. Hand off to Bernstein and the Bernstein Bears. Holy crap, I swear to God. And there's a fumble at the 30. And it but you really, yeah, I was going to say, I bet you really wish to kick that field goal now. Uh, wow. I'm sorry if I jinxed you there. <laughs> Old Bernstein loses the handle on that one. And now the Browns' defense. Hey, why are you not pressing the button? You got blocked there. It's too late now. Make sure you get blocked. You hammer on that red button. Um. Yeah, and that yeah that fumble did what the uh, Browns offense couldn't do, and that is give them good field position. Oh, and that's a touchdown to Mark Carrier, and it is suddenly a tied game. Well, the computer usually doesn't miss the PAT. It's possible. I'm definitely not gonna block it like that. 7 to 7 tie game and the uh, Broncos really do need to win this uh, to keep uh oh you're probably going to want to down there. Other button. The only two of them. <laughs> All right. So the Broncos are going to start their own 20 and see if they can get to field goal range to take the lead in this game somehow. Oh, out of the gun. He's got Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sh Oh! Butter hands. Shannon Sharp usually doesn't miss it. It must be the rain. Because generally, Shannon Sharp will catch a pass like that. Oh, Colin. Looks like to be the same play. And by looks like, I mean it is the same. You got you to fight it off, man. <laughs> you had him wide open. Man, you're going to have to punt again. 3rd to 22. Same play. Don't get safetyed. Shannon Sharp, that time we'll catch it and get the first down. First down. That's a lot of work for the gain about 12 yards. So anyway, that fumble really opened up this game. Before, it didn't look like the Browns were going to get any offense going. And then with uh, with the fumble there by uh, Bernstein, whole com complexion of the game changed. Oh. Elway out of the gun. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Why did you, yeah, it's like there's a guy right there. He threw it downward. Okay, well Elway's stats become further putrid and now 
Took ya. You got something to worry about now. Kosar's out of the gun and no, it's, not, it's not a touchdown. It is field goal range for sure. First down. Uh, a series of poor decisions have thrown this game into yeah. into yes he uh, he pretty much had a one. Go. Second and ten. Ready, set, put, 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 put. You can run into the line if you want to attack. 11 yard loss, and that'll push him back, complicating field goal preparations. Field goal is still quite possible from that range. But it is getting harder. And now I'm they're probably going to trot out the field goal team here on 4th and 17. Yes, they are. Yeah, and then kind of cross inward. Oh, that looks like it's off. And it is. All right, so the Broncos have another chance to, to blow it, really. A minute and seven seconds, so I hope you didn't run it Ready, up the gut. Set, okay, good. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible idea, because, like, let, let him run a little bit. I mean, you want to get in field goal range or a touchdown, right? You can't throw it right away. And you would have been better thrown to that guy. He was, like, way more alone. Now, sharp, sure, but wait. I, I, why are you guys so, like... Okay, I'm sorry for that, folks, but, like, you and... You and you and the Eagles there. All you guys want to throw it like immediately. Like let the guy run out there. That could be a touchdown. Oh shit! Now you want to throw it to me? No, don't. Now I, on that one you don't throw it immediately. No, you're tied. Oh. Yeah, you better punt it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you mean you should go for it? Yeah, and give him like field position on the freaking ten. It probably won't miss that field goal. Okay. Jeez Louise, this... <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. This game has uh, hurt me deep down in my soul. Overtime. And even if there was an overtime, it's better to get a tie game than to get a loss. Huh? Yeah. Sudden death. Yep. That's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't kick the accidental onside that you look like you were going to. Yeah, that is a tie, yeah. Yep. yep. Checking the parameters for the overtime is the Joneser. I bet you really wish you kicked that field. Oh! Michael Jackson! The fantabulous catch there. Yeah, I mean, I just said it's sudden death. So it's a safety, but I don't think you're going to get a safety from there. Oh, Michael Jackson again. No, that time incomplete pass. Kosar's really been turning it up in the second half of the game. He was completely ineffectual in the first one. The second half has proven to be Bernie's. His, your, his weekend at Bernie's. What? Anyway, I went for a pun there. And it, it didn't work. Third and 16. Kosar out of the gun. If this doesn't work, he's probably going to have to punt it. Oh! Yep. They have to. That's okay. Alright. Hanson. Yeah, you want to... Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. I thought I thought that was no like you know on the uh, on the border there. There's times when they don't let you down it. Okay, they're starting for the twenty. So hopefully the Broncos can uh, can see if they can get something going here instead of throwing it like immediately. Shannon Sharp with the catch. First down. All right, they're gonna move the ball. Hopefully, it's a. Uh, 
Two minutes, 54 seconds remaining for them to get into field goal position or to score. One or the other. Ooh. Bernstein. And that is actually... They said it was Elway. This game sometimes is getting a little bit loopy. Because he definitely handed it off to Bernstein. Oh, you better... Well, at least you got rid of it. No, no, it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't get intercepted off the tip. Okay, good. Never. Come on, you played enough games to see that never happens. Like, it's usually, I mean, as soon as somebody touches it, it's pretty much dead. Third and one, yeah. Bernstein up the gut. Is he gonna get it? No! Oh. Well. What? You haven't? Okay, fourth and one. You're probably gonna have to. Yes, you did. Okay. Well, you don't have to, but you might regret this. Up the gut again, and this runs right into his own line. I don't know why nobody goes through the hole that they're obviously making for that. Like really, that happens all the time. No, it's not. Like that time when you couldn't run straight. It was not the controller. Okay. Well, turnover there, Simon Fletcher, which was good because uh, Solens was, uh, or Mecklenburg was laying on his rear end after running into uh, the blockers there, seven to seven, and uh, another sack. Jeez, Bernie, what are you doing? Uh, probably not, but this might be a tie game. Go, oh, oh, it looked like he was going to go with the draw. Michael Jackson is not a thriller on that play. And there's a punt. That's somebody, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you know. this is, like, yeah, it happens with a lot of people. Nobody uh, remembers that they can block the punt or try to block the punt. Or... Okay, from your own 20. Well, I don't... I don't think that's true, but... Well, let's see if Elway can do a little mile-high magic here. Good pass to Tillman. Eleven seconds. This is probably the last play of the game. So I would say this is most likely going to end as a tie. Oh, good thinking. Shannon Sharp. Oh, overthrown. Overdrawn at the bank. And it's a tie game. Yeah, it's better than a loss, but uh, I bet somebody wishes they kicked that field goal. All right. Oh, yeah, no, he had the opportunity, but he chose not to pursue it. All right, next game is Houston versus Seattle, but I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Let's see what that does. It's got to have a real weird effect on the AFC West there. As now... Well, they are in second place with a 4-3 and 1 record. Seattle's 0-8. That's true enough. And, uh, who's the other team? What are they playing? Oh, the Browns. Yeah, the Browns aren't going to the playoffs. So it doesn't matter. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the game, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.